Hello and welcome to the screencast on logical operators in MATLAB. In this screencast we're going to discuss what is a logical statement. We're going to see how MATLAB handles logical values. Look at several logical operators in MATLAB for less than or greater than, equality, inequality, and or and negation. And finally see how we can use logical operators to test truth values of statements. So a logical statement is just a statement or a sentence that is definitely true or definitely false and not up to opinion. Uh, for example, if I say 1 is less than 3, that is definitely true. If I say 3 is less than 2, that is definitely false. Variables in MATLAB that have truth or falsehood values as opposed to numerical or string values are called Boolean variables. We do actually use numbers to represent their truth or falsehood values. We typically use a 0 for false and a 1 for true. For example, if I go to MATLAB's command window and type 1 less than 3, MATLAB is going to interpret this as a question as to whether that statement is true or false. So when I hit return, it's going to return a 1 uh, as the answer because the statement is true. If I say 3 less than 2, it's going to return a 0. And if I say 3 less than 3, it's going to also return a 0 because 3 isn't less than 3. So MATLAB can handle logical statements, often referred to as Boolean values, and it stores the truth or falsehood values as 0 if false, 1 if true. Now I've used here the less than symbol, and that's an example of what we're going to call a logical operator. It's a symbol that tells MATLAB to perform one of these logical evaluations to return zeros or ones. And we have several of these operators to look at right now, one of them being the less than symbol. We can also use less than or equal to as file as follows, one less than equals three. This is asking MATLAB to say whether or not one is less than or equal to three, and of course it is. And if I say three less than or equal to three, I'll get a one this time as opposed to the zero the time before, because three is less than or equal to three. We can also form uh, the greater than, the uh, opposite inequality. I could say one less than two or greater than two, and that'll return a zero, or a two greater than or equal to two, and it returns a one. We just always put the uh, equal sign to the right of the inequality sign there. Now equality is another thing we might test. I might have a variable, say uh, x equals 12, and uh, x is now stored in the workplace with the value of 12. And uh, I use the single equal sign there not to ask whether x was equal to 12, but to make an assignment to tell MATLAB to take the number 12 and store it in the variable x. So the single equal sign in MATLAB is a command to store a value to a variable. Now if I wanted to test to see if x were a particular value, for example, if I wanted to check to see if x was equal to 13, I would use a double equal sign. So the double equal sign, this will pass a zero back because x in fact is not equal to 13. So the double equal sign here is a, is a test for equality. It's a logical operator that asks MATLAB to compare the values of x and the value of 13 and see if they are equal. It's much different than the single equal sign which is a variable assignment operator. Uh, if I say x equal to 12, double equal to 12, it's a one. We can also do this with strings too, although it's a little tricky. If I set x equal to the string Alice and ask, ask if x is equal to the string Alice, which I would need to use a double equal sign for that, I don't get a one, I get a whole matrix of ones because it's going to go through, as we said before, strings are considered to be vectors. So the word Alice is really a five element vector and uh, every entry in X is equal to every entry in the vector Alice. So it's a little tricky. There are better commands out there for comparing strings and seeing whether strings are equal to each other. We won't get into that in this screencast here. So we can check for, e for equality, we can also check to see if one thing is not equal to another, and that's by using the symbol, I'll just give an example, uh, let me set x back equal to 12, and now if I say x, and this is a tilde, it's uh, right above the, uh, the left apostrophe up in the left hand corner of your, upper left hand corner of your screen, equals 13, this is asking whether x is not equal to 13, and it is true, hence the one, that x is not equal to 13. So that little tilde is called a negation symbol, and it's, just, it's like uh, asking whether something is not equal to something else. We could say 14 not equal to 15, and it would say true. If I say 14 not equal to 14, it says false, because in fact 14 is equal to 14. So we also have two other operators we can use uh, that join logical statements. One is, is and and the other is or. Uh, for example, let me go back and set x equal to 12. I think it already is. And uh, if I said x 
is x equal to 12, it will pass a 1. If I say is x bigger than, thir than 3, it will also pass a 1. Uh, if I wanted to see if either of those two statements is true, I would say this, uh, x equal to 12 or x greater than 3. And what MATLAB will do is evaluate each one of these two parenthesized statements individually, and if either one of them is true, it will pass a 1 back. If both of them are false, it'll pass a 0 back. In this case, I'm going to get a 1 back. I could also say, um, let's flip this inequality around here. Now remember, x is actually equal to 12, so the statement on the left is going to be true. The statement on the right is false, but since only one of them, since at least one of those statements is true, the entire OR statement is true. There's also an AND symbol and uh, that is using just simply the ampersand, the uh, punctuation we normally use for AND. And what MATLAB will do here is evaluate each of these two statements individually, and if both of them are true, then it'll pass a 1 back to the screen. If either one of them is false, it'll pass a 0 back. In this case, I'm going to get a 0 because x equal to 12 is true, but x less than 3 uh, is false. And if I flip this around and make both of these statements true like so, then I will get a 1 back because both of those statements, x equals 12 and x bigger than 3, are true. Now I can even use uh, the negation symbol to negate an entire statement. For example, if I say negation of x equal to 12 and x bigger than 3, it's a very complex statement. What MATLAB will do is go inside the parentheses first and evaluate this statement and say that's true. Evaluate this one and say that's also true. Therefore, all of this stuff is true, and therefore its negation, which is just the logical opposite, is false. So I can set up fairly complicated systems of logical statements and have MATLAB automatically evaluate their truth or falsehood. So let's finish off here with an example of how these combinations of logical operators could be used, for example, in a programming situation. Let's suppose that if the temperature outside is below 55 or it's raining, then I want the person to put on their coat. Now that's a logical statement that requires evaluating an if statement. If the temperature is below 55 or it's raining, then something needs to happen. So let me set up a variable here called temperature, and I'm going to set it equal to 52 right now. And uh, let me set up a, temp a variable called raining, and that's going to be uh, a true or false value. That's going to be a Boolean value. And let's suppose I set it equal to zero to begin with. So right now the situation is it's 52 degrees outside and it's not raining. Now in that case, what I said was if the temperature is below 55 or it's raining, I'd want to put on a coat. Uh, in this case, I would want to put on a coat. But here's the logical statement that uh, the logical uh, operator and statement that would evaluate to tell me that. I would say if temperature is below 55 or it's raining, and I'm just going to say raining, then I would like to put the code on and MATLAB's going to evaluate that as 1. Now raining, you notice, didn't have an operator in it because it is by itself going to take on a value of either 0 or 1. That's the way I set this problem up. On the other hand, if I look outside and it's raining, let's set that equal to 1 now, and the temperature happens to be uh, 60 degrees. Now if I evaluate temperature less than 55 or raining, it's going to evaluate this statement first and say false, but look over here and see a 1 stored for raining and evaluate it to be true. If I go over here and set uh, this to not raining, then that will evaluate out to be 0. And so we can use the, these different kinds of logical statements, Boolean variables, and logical operators to set up tests for truth and falsehood that can guide our uh, path through a program that is running to decide what the program should do with our input. So let's recap what we've seen in this screencast. We've learned that statements are sentences that are definitely true or definitely false, and MATLAB assigns a value of 1 to statements that are true and 0 to statements that are false. We've seen a bunch of logical operators, as you see here, especially the AND, the OR, and the negation symbol that can evaluate the truth or falsehood of either individual statements or combinations of statements. And we've seen how we can combine these operators and statements to compute truth values of statements that can be used to guide the flow of a program. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.